I got one more thing to say. Um, people don't believe, like in climate change, people don't, you know, or there are people that have a strict worldview and they don't tend to accept other people with other backgrounds. There's something in the Bible that says um, um, it is better for someone to say they're they're not a believer and then later do somebody to, to say that won't do and then later do and then somebody who says they will do and then later ends up not doing so to have somebody who say they're Christian but they end up not acting Christian like whereas somebody who is not Christian and later ends up deciding that Christ is the way and so that because of that you have to kind of see everybody as being Christian you can't make judgments and say, well, this person's not Christian, therefore I'm not going to accept his worldview. Another thing is is that if you are in, interested in converting them, you're interested in bringing people to Christ, you got to be receptive to their, to their views because they're not going to see eye to eye with you until you see eye to eye with them. And so, um, so to say you don't believe in climate change and you think God's going to take care of it, maybe God doesn't take care of it. Maybe that is part of your responsibility to, um, to take care of the earth, to take care of the animals. And it's his creation. And if you're not taking care of it, you know, what does that say about you? You, you really have this limited viewpoint. There are also people that believe in using the Bible as a kind of a legalistic law by which people should live. And, it, it, you should live by it, but you shouldn't see it as law, you know, because there's grace. And God can forgive pretty much anything, even, you know, things that were said, you know, you're not supposed to do, you know. If you, it also says that, that like, will go throughout the world and, and it, it will take, you know, light is to get into all the crevices and all the darkness, you know. And pray, pray, in order for that to happen, you have to be lenient you have to let other people just see them more as christian because you don't know what they're going to do with where they're at you know you could have somebody who's a porn star and is a christian and they might be doing that because they have something planned out in the future and then uh, they're probably going to bring a lot of people to christ from the porn world you don't know so you can't really judge them anyhow they the thing is is to kind of keep yourself open up and to, to try to understand other people's philosophies and their ideas. And, you know, being open-minded doesn't mean your brain has to fall out. Um, if you're closed-minded, then you're, then you're going to be complacent. You're going to be limited. You're going to be ignorant. You know, that's what closed-mindedness is. It's being ignorant. So open-minded is better than being closed-minded. And um, if we go to the table and we're going to negotiate with uh, countries about um, climate change and we don't respect their views, they're not going to really respect our views and they're not going to want to negotiate anything, you know, because they're going to not see eye to eye with us. They're not going to want to negotiate. And that's the problem we run into whenever we go and uh, talk to other countries is because they grow up pretty realizing that we're a bunch of arrogant bastards. And... That's the way they see us, and that's the reason why they probably won't have, I mean, they probably like things about us, but when they come to meet us, then they realize that we don't really respect their views. It's going to blow up in our face. And so the idea is, is to try to understand other people, accept their views, don't see yourself as better than them, try to see the best parts of what their views bring to the table. Even pantheism, Indian pantheism, could be seen as good in that they're seeing every god as having a potential skill. They probably see themselves that way, as each person has a particular skill, and then they just, rather than trying to do everything, they pass off, they um, can uh, pass off responsibility to individual people to, to do various sorts of things, and those people might be um, might be worshiping some god, you know, um, but don't take that to mean that they won't become Christian somewhere down the road. And so, if you're respond, if you're accepting of them, and you're accepting of their culture, and you try to find some niche inside of their culture that where you can be Christian-like, they may start to realize that 
if you can exist inside their culture, maybe they can exist inside your culture. So that's, that's what we need to do.